Welcome to day 4 of 30 days of AL and today we are going to look at the variant because it represents an AL variable object so the AL variant data type can contain many AL data types it can contain an action automation big integer a big text a boolean and whichever data type that you can pass so when you define a variant you don't need to okay you can pass either of all these data types and it's up to the user now to be able to um, to know or to commit to, to to handle the logic of the code at the end of what you have passed so here we have a record as part of the data type that uh, is being passed in the variant and i have added uh in our 30 days 30 days of al table i have uh, on the page i have added this day four so that i have passed the record in the variant and you can see there is no error so day four has been passed to this procedure so the variant has several method like let me say var variant var dot when i just do dot this is action, is automation, is big integer, is this is a way of confirming the type of the variable that has been passed. It's a good way to avoid errors while processing your code. So I will just confirm if it's a record, then um, with an if, and then I'll begin and end. Okay, so since the record the variant uh okay when, when you pass a record in the variant you need to use record ref because uh you the record by default is usually defined with a specific table let's say record of customer record of vendors and items but if it, it was a decimal then it's an easy thing because you don't need to do another definition maybe just an evaluate to uh, convert it to a decimal but here we need just to define a record ref record ref and a field ref so that you can be able to fetch the two so the record ref uh, is getting we'll use the function in record ref uh, okay record ref dot get table so that you can get the variant var so it will get it will get the table of a record variable and causes the record ref to refer to the same table so it will refer to the table that has been passed by this variable so and again after i have passed this record ref i can let's uh, for instance say field number two because we have field number two probably we can take the field field ref we assign it to record ref to the field number two and message out the value of the field ref in our system and we can add a breakpoint here so that you can see how the variant will be displayed build the application and then run it so that you can be able to see how the variant will be There we are. We are getting ready to run. So I'll use this 30 days of AL, view it. I believe this should be field number two, and uh, I'll get the variant. Uh, I should be having um, something here in the variant. When you go to the debugger, watch in our locals, what do we have? We have a var variant. This is the variant. Uh, record ref and field ref are still uninitialized. The inner value is one. And you can see now, here it is, eh? the, the beauty. We have fields. Okay, we, we already have these values of the variant. It, it is mirroring the record ref already uh, with one, uh, these 30 days of L here, and uh, system ID that created. 
So the value is already uh, mirrored. It's only a matter of us converting or getting it uh, in a form that we want. Let's just move forward. Let me minimize the fields so that we can be able to get the this one initialized. Let's go. So the record ref is now initialized. What is it saying? So the values that were in the variant have been passed to the record ref. And here we are. Where were they? Okay, do we still have them? So we still have them in the variant and we have them in the record ref. So the record ref and the variant both have the same values. And we just need to initialize the field ref and get it working. Field ref finally initialized. And it has passed the value 30 days of AL. We have uh, it with the value that we want. And by default, when we just message out, we'll be able to get exactly what we want or what we expected. So I will just continue. And we expect to be having the message 30 days of AL. Okay, this uh, the variant you can pass uh, different variables. Like if I, if I was to pass um, an integer, it will still work. Like this is where I've passed it. If I say 30 days of AL dot day four, and then I say, for instance, the number that is the field number. You see, there's no error that will be thrown just because I've passed the field number which is an integer so um this is a, a a good way of having it's like having a generic and it can really help you if you have uh more so uh, i've seen the best use case is more so records maybe you want to log something on a record or you want to modify uh, a specific field in a record that is similar in many tables you could instead of having several functions for each side of the table you can just pass the you create one function and then you get the field and then you modify especially if all fields are referencing a particular uh, enum something like approval status uh, status from open to approved you can have such something like that where you are referencing them and updating the field field ref but ideally uh, the variant it's good to be explicit in terms of how you define your functions and procedures uh, so that you can be sure of the data that is being passed. Um, unless you, the variant is helping you to reduce duplicates or to reduce repetition, there is no need of using the variant if you don't have two. So if um, in as much as this is available for us, let's be careful in on how we use it let's use them uh let's use such variables only when necessary only when they are adding value don't just complicate your code for no reason you could just pass an integer and you're passing in a variant doesn't make sense so um it's a good variable but the best use case i believe is when you have uh when you are reducing uh redundancy and repetition so that's it for day four of uh, coding uh, 30 days of AL. I will see you in day 5. See you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.